so it's bonus time, salary increment time, a uh, lot of good news coming in. Uh, 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 how should one, uh, a lot of people actually wait for this time, you know, because uh, They've, they've either got a big ticket purchase uh, that they want to uh, use this money for or uh, maybe a major chunk of the liability that they really want to get rid of. Uh, what according to you should be a strategy? How should one decide a strategy for this extra cash flow that they might get now? Hi, Kavita. Yeah, so I think it's a, it's a wonderful time to uh, kind of, you know, uh, ex be expecting uh, any kind of extra bonus, extra salary, or uh, this Diwali extra cash that you might get uh, from sources which can range from your family to uh, your employer. And um, I think uh, many of us uh, end up uh, spending that money uh, in, a, in, a, in an impulsive manner and not really be thoughtful about what we can do that with that money to improve our financial lives uh, uh, in, in, for the long run. And if you if you actually uh, uh, kind of be a little more thoughtful about if the amount is significant for you, uh, then uh, it can actually do a lot of wonders to improve yourself. And uh, 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 one has to find find ways depending on one's financial situation what the best use of that money. It can actually range from paying off debts to basically making better investments. Uh, and I think we can discuss all those possible options. But what you should not be doing is let the money lie idle as well if you don't spend it. Uh, by earning uh, like just 2, 2.5%, 3% interest rate on Sri bank account. Even that is like uh, doing more harm than good to your money. So uh, uh, we can discuss all the options and, uh, and uh, kind of actually make use of this money far better. So let's uh, get on with that and uh, uh, what according to you will be the first step that one should be considering as far as the financial planning is concerned or getting their finances right uh, when they get this big chunk of money. So I think the uh, I think one of the most uh, prudent use of uh, extra cash, uh, uh, Diwali bonus, annual increment cycles. I think everything applies uh, uh, to this answer. Is uh, is actually getting rid of your debts that you may have, or actually prepaying a certain amount of loan that you may have. It can be uh, even increasing EMI if you are expecting this to be an annual uh, affair for yourself. Uh, and I think. Uh, most people don't realize that if if uh, they're able to carry kind of tick off those uh, EMIs or the burden of uh, a loan, uh, it can actually do a world of good to your uh, financial lives. Uh, and just a simple example, even if you are looking at a home loan, which is the cheapest form of loans that uh, an individual can actually take, uh, a 50 lakh rupee loan and at, a, at an 8% of uh, annual interest, adds up to almost 50 lakh rupees of interest payments over 20 years. And if you are able to actually take off by paying, prepaying every bonus that you get every year, you may be able to take off that loan liability in, in a matter of 10 years instead of 20. And the savings can be substantial and not just 25 lakh rupees because most of the uh, initial years of your uh, EMIs go towards servicing interest. So idea is if you can actually use to pay off your loans, if you have any, it's one of the best use that you can do. And I'm only taking an example of home loan here. Uh, if, if, if you are able to kind of do it for your personal loans that may be at a higher interest rate, 14% or so, or a car loan that you may be having, which is 10% uh, or so, if there is no prepayment penalties, I would actually suggest take off the debt, which is at a higher interest rate uh, uh, than anything first. Uh, uh, even if, and it basically apply to credit card debt as well. Tell us something, how does one, so, so for example, if someone has a huge uh, uh, loan portfolio or liability portfolio, how should one decide what should go off that uh, list first? I think uh, uh, there are multiple ways to look at it, Kavita, but I think most prudent way would be taking off the loans which are on higher interest rates. So typically a personal loan will carry highest interest rate of maybe 14%, 16%, 13% depending on your credit score and your income levels. Uh, uh, a uh, car loan may be in the region of about 9 to 10 percent, a home loan as of now may be in the region of 8 to 8.5. Uh, so I would actually say that you should tick off the loan which is on a higher interest rate because it's a cost that you're actually incurring uh, and that cost is not small. So pay off the loan which is highest interest rate uh, uh, and of course the stack rank in my opinion is credit card followed by personal loan, followed by car loan, followed by home loan. Uh, and if you if you actually are not comfortable uh, because there is a prepayment penalty on it uh, and sometimes there is 
a significant penalty associated uh, at least in terms of personal loans and car loans then you should basically look at home loans because home loans don't carry any kind of per prepayment penalty so you actually end up saving that money as well so look at your loan conditions uh, terms and condition of your loan documents and uh, the interest rate and take a judicious call based on that right uh, now let's uh, talk about emergency fund which is actually the first step of your financial planning you know that ideally should be the first step and a lot of people really miss out uh, on this uh, very important planning uh, uh, how should ca can one actually use this money to create a contingency fund of course so uh, i think uh, if you are somebody who actually doesn't have uh, uh, kind of emergency fund yet uh, i would actually recommend that prioritize building an emergency fund over paying off your debt because emergencies by definition can come unannounced you may not be prepared to handle them you may have to take another debt to basically overcome it uh, and having an emergency fund is far better uh, you know financial planning than actually not having one a uh, lot of things happen in times which are unplanned expenses which may be surprising at times uh, uh it can be in form of medical emergency it can be in the form of any kind of other expenditure that may come in the family and it is such that is unavoidable you there is no way you can opt out of that expenditure and hence emergency fund actually helps a lot uh, i would actually prioritize that over paying off your loans and if you want to kind of have a rule book what kind of emergency fund you should have it can actually be depending on how stable your finances are how how uh, stable your monthly savings are or what kind of income levels you are earning and what kind of monthly expenditure you should ha you are having right now it can vary from as as small as 3 months of uh, your monthly expenditure as emergency fund or it can be as high as 12 months of emergency fund if you are a professional not having any any kind of regular income then it may be better off to have a 12 month emergency fund but if you are salaried individuals for most people i think 6 months will just fit in for fine the strategy for actually starting off with the emergency fund planning you know how should be the how should we uh, plan on the route of investment santosh okay the money that we've got uh, could be in bulk okay so it does it make sense to do an stp or uh, should 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 one just really park this bulk money in a liquid fund how should one go about it yeah so i think uh, the, you hit the uh, thing on the bang on kavita i think uh, the, uh, the second question people actually may end up having is where do i build this emergency fund should i be building this in the part as a part of swings bank account because one of the most liquid ways to withdraw money if and when you want but if because emergency fund uh, investment tenure can be indefinite you would not know and you would actually not want to use that money uh, forever in that sense uh, it is better that you keep that money in liquid fund because liquid fund actually would possibly always earn more than Uh, a savings bank account interest rate uh, for at least most of the banks uh, that you are uh, able to open accounts with in the country so i would say that uh, you should park that money in liquid fund uh, uh, or a one night fund if you really want to be super safe about it uh, they would typically earn about 5 to 6% uh, uh, annual yield as per current uh, interest rate scenario in the country if the interest rates rise you might end up earning more as well uh, and of course because emergency fund is such that you may not need for next 4 years it will actually have indexation benefits as well so uh, instead of actually looking at bank account as a possible source of this money you should only and only look at liquid and, and overnight funds as first option for yourself uh, in terms of parking that money all right let's move on now the next step according to you is uh, to plan your tax saving investment now that is something uh, 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 very relevant and very timely also because uh, uh, you can avoid the last minute deadlines if you plan it that in advance yeah to be guys you know most people actually end up uh, taking wrong decisions by copying uh, 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 the option that your their friends has taken or ex or colleagues have taken and they just mindlessly buy those products as well uh, and one of the ways to avoid that is be more planned about it uh, what what happens with an annual increment or extra cash or a bonus which comes your way from your employer Uh, it, it basically increases your tax liability, and you, there is no way you can wish it away. But you can actually work towards decreasing the tax liability that you may have. And if you, if one of the fastest or easiest ways is to be basically putting that money to good use in the form of tax saving investments, and uh, there are very easy ways to do that. I think ELS is uh, equity link saving scheme in, in mutual funds is one of the best ways to create wealth for long run. and also have the lowest short uh, lowest uh, uh, smallest uh, 
uh, uh, kind of a lock in period uh, for your investment just 3 years so uh, you should maximize that thing if you have not used the entire section 80c available to you which is 1.5 lakh rupees annually you should first max out that thing uh, and uh, there are other options in the form of nps as well if you are somebody who is looking to really uh, park that money for long term investments towards retirement nps hands becomes a very good option as well so uh, uh, if, i would say that first emergency fund second is pay off your debts and if you are if you don't have needs of doing both the things uh, look at the third option which is actually reducing your tax liability of the increased income all right a lot of tax uh, uh, options over here uh, give the facility to, uh, to to invest in lump sum uh, but if at all one is running short even in that uh, a major chunk can be paid during this period and later on can be done uh, uh, in the coming months uh, uh, if one is not able to finish this entire plan in one go uh, how should one go about it i think uh, so tax wing investments is such kavita at least with respect to uh you know uh, uh, products which are uh, suitable to investors for long term wealth creation allow monthly sip options so uh, elss funds allow monthly sip options nps allows monthly sip option at least on ed money uh, 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 sometimes if you are buying investment oriented insurance policies which actually you don't recommend at ed money at all uh, even those provide monthly options to you so if you are not able to max out that amount and you are falling short it's always uh, recommended that you start what we can afford today and be able to afford for next few months because you can actually claim that entire benefit till march uh, so uh, if there's six months remaining six installments that you can actually uh, uh, make up to meet your tax liabilities or tax wing investments do that uh, start an sip which you can afford and uh, continue till the march uh, or maybe forever in that sense so that even next year's investments are taken care of uh next is obviously you need to increase your investments if at all you can but then uh, tell us something about insurance how can one get uh, a more uh, insurance cover or uh, get their risk or liabilities covered properly in terms of getting the right insurance cover for themselves yes so i think kavi uh, the many people look at insurance as an expense which they always would want to avoid uh, and not take up that liability on themselves to because uh, good insurance policies like term insurance and health insurance would actually have uh, uh, annual recurring premiums in the form of annual premiums for health insurance and annual premium for term insurance uh, and and if you've been someone who has been avoiding that then uh, considering yourself uh, uh, considering protection uh, uh, for yourself will is a very good use of that money it also saves tax by the way uh, one of the healthiest form of saving taxes in my opinion is buying a health insurance policy for your family uh, and yourself Uh, so consider having a health insurance if you actually have health insurance uh, 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 which is one of the first insurance you should buy for yourself uh, then look at your term insurance requirements uh, are you fully covered uh, and in, in india uh, being an under under insured country most people are under insured compared to being over insured so look at uh, review your insurance cover requirement if you are not insured so far uh, in term, in form of life insurance uh, uh, consider buying a life insurance policy and take a uh, annual premium option if you're expecting this uh, uh, annual bonus or diwali bonus which is coming your way as an annual as a as a regular feature every year so you can actually time your annual insurance premium payments around the same time next year so they're able to afford it easily as well uh, so uh, buying health, uh, insurance and protection for yourself is one of the best use you can you do for you, for your money which you're coming uh, 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 right now and expecting your bank account right now Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.